Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well and being safe. I saw we had like a spike of 14 COVID cases, so I really hope everyone is wearing their mask and just being safe because clearly some of us are not. But anyway, I have waited so freaking long to get my Juvia's nude lipsticks and they are finally here. And I am not going to keep this intro long at all because I am really dying to try these lipsticks and just feel them on my lips, see the colors, how they look. And yeah, just maybe help you choose some colors as well if you like my skin tone or deeper or even lighter. Juvia's Place launched their nudes collection on the same day that I dropped my nudes video, like my top 10 or 8 favorite nudes, something like that. The same day I uploaded that video, they launched their collection and I was just like, it's destiny. I have to get it because I think by now everyone knows that, well, especially if you follow me on Instagram, I love Juvia's Place. I am obsessed with this brand ever since they came out. It was just like so different and unique. I mean, they're black owned, woman owned. But honestly, this brand is just so phenomenal. And for the prices, I mean, they have the world's most pigmented eyeshadows. Need I say more about the brand? And they're not new, so I'm not gonna keep rambling. But I am gonna tell you guys what I did grab in this collection. I will throw up a picture on the screen of exactly what it is that they launched. So as you can see from the picture, they did launch 12 velvet matte lipsticks and that is broken into three categories. You have the chocolates, the mauves and the peaches collection. They also dropped two gloss formulas, the glass gloss in which they launched three shades and the reflect glosses in which they launched four shades. They also dropped some lip liners, which is supposed to complement all of the different tones of the nudes. So overall, it's a really big nudes collection. Of course, because I love this brand so much and nudes, it's like a combo in heaven. I definitely wanted to purchase the entire collection, but I really only got the colors that really spoke to my soul because it, it's a big collection and to buy everything right now that was you know that would have been a lot of money and I am trying my best to be on a low buy because it really supposed to be a no buy but let me face it I am very weak when it comes to shopping so yeah it's a low buy that I'm going through right now so I did grab a couple things from the collection that stood out to me the most so I definitely bought the entire chocolates bundle this is so gorgeous you'll get details soon I also purchased two of the shades from the mauves collection two of their lip reflect glosses one of the glass glosses and two of their lip liners so if you are interested in swatches of these lip items, then keep on watching.
Clearly I was feeling myself a little bit too much when I was watching those colors but I mean they were gorgeous so let me start with the packaging we have all seen them online they are beautiful but when you see them in person you just honestly if you're like me I get emotional over makeup so this was just like I almost cried when I saw this packaging it's so beautiful and usually I you know get rid of like lipstick boxes but these are just so pretty they are definitely going on my display in the back there so you all will be seeing them in the future I don't know I just can't seem to part with them they are stunning so pretty they just <laughs> Did I almost throw it on? Yeah. In terms of the packaging of the velvet lipstick itself, also a gorgeous component. I mean, the dark pink to this lighter pink, almost peachy color, this ombre effect is just so gorgeous. And I love the fact that they just have their Juvia's symbol to the very top. The lipstick shade is also at the bottom, but it also does resemble the actual shade of the lipstick so the details they did not skip out on and i mean for the price it's only 14 us for one of these they're really really worth it to me personally because i do love nude lipsticks and did i find my perfect nude in this collection honestly no but there is a wide variety of nudes and browns and pinks that i just absolutely adore in this collection so this is a big hit for me it's a big yes if you want to try it absolutely the formula is very creamy lightweight it does not feel heavy on the lips they are extremely pigmented of course they're not transfer proof because they are like a creamy matte but I will say if I have to compare this to another lipstick, it would be the Huda Beauty's Power Bullet Matte Lipstick, but like a lighter weight version of that lipstick. So if you find that formula is probably too thick for you, this is the one you should try. As for the Reflect Gloss Formula, I am absolutely obsessed with these. I can't believe how pigmented they are. This is the shade I am wearing. I actually left it on. This is called Sis, which is like honestly my perfect gloss nude. I didn't find my perfect nude lipstick, but I definitely have found my perfect nude gloss. I honestly believe this color is like my perfect nude gloss. I can achieve this with other items in my collection, but I do have to like mix a lip liner with a clear gloss and all of that. So it's actually quite nice to just have one pigmented nude gloss so I can just keep this to go. But the formula is not sticky, it's super creamy, but the shine, oh my god, it is phenomenal. I love the shine on this, it feels just so comfortable on the lips. I am obsessed with this formula. As far as the glass gloss that I picked up, I was so surprised to see how glass like this really is. I honestly get the name now because when I saw it, I'm just like, okay, it's just a gloss, which is why I really just picked up one. I wasn't expecting anything really innovative because like so many brands have glosses now. I have so many glosses in my collection. So I just bought one that stood out to me and this pink gloss with these i don't know it's like purple and gold a kind of fuchsia shimmer in it i was not expecting it to have the payoff that it did so it's not exactly clear it is a pink gloss with a lot of shimmer packed in there it's really pretty very reflective so if you're a shimmery gloss person really try this formula because it is not sticky at all it's very comfortable and i'm quite surprised i enjoyed it last but not least the lip liners i must say are some of the creamiest lip liners i have ever tried and considering that they're only ten dollars each is friggin amazing they're a steal of a deal of course there are bundles on everything like i mentioned before but these are just so beautiful and to be honest i don't think it's necessary for me personally to get all of the shades of the lip liners because i did buy the lip liner that corresponds to the lipsticks that i bought so this brown one here called cola 
is actually a great complement to the nudes, the chocolate nudes. And this one here is a pinky rosy color, which is called, what are you called? Love Me. So this definitely complements the Morphs collection really well. And even with this brown lip liner, because I did purchase some more of the shades after i saw swatches online honestly i couldn't help it i went back to get some other things on julia's place and yeah i bought some more lipsticks so i do have some of the peaches collection coming in and i figured this shade will work for that collection as well so yeah we have some more new julia's place items to play with soon but the rain is coming so i need to close off this video because i'll have to be yelling soon i do hope you guys like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you did and comment down below which was your favorite shade of this swatch video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye